Hey up everybody, I'm going to move on to the next instalment of my steam driven water pump that I'm building. So without any further ado then uh, we'll move over to the workbench and crack on with this. Okay then let's have a, a brief look at this uh, drawing for this cylinder. Uh, I think I mentioned in my last video that I made a wooden template. I'm, I've just made this to show everybody that if they're having problem fathoming out where all these cross holes meet up with each other is to make it in a bit of hardwood first. Uh, that, that's what I do and it you know but having read the drawing a few times probably a dozen times and fathom things out it all becomes it all became clear to me what was happening but I've done this wooden template just to show anybody that might be struggling a bit with all these cross holes and how they intersect and join up with each other so I've made this out of some hardwood dimensionally exactly the same as the actual drawing I've also done the valve chest in some hardwood on the drawing you've got there's an E and a D and another E and a D and then they're drilled at different depths into the face and then on the end when you come in this one these two on the ends of holes C that meet up with E and then these two are holes B that meet up with D and once they've been drilled they also blanked off so it's all to get your steam passageways and then uh, uh, the other thing is there's two extra holes that's there and there that correspond with the valve chest so that's why you have to do the valve chest first so that you can mark these two holes here from your valve chest and then once once you've done that marking this side of the valve chest hole they blanked off so it's all it's, it's, it's drilled straight through so you can uh, essentially do that marking and get them exact because what happens here is this hole which is B is drilled at a shallower depth than the other one so it, it intersects all it, this hole here that come from the valve chest and then it also intersects the bottom of hole D like so same on both sides and then this hole here which is on the drawing C there's a little cut out on each side that's to let the steam into the actual cylinder and that one look is drilled at a, a deeper depth than hole D this is E this is E we're on now uh, and that one just intersects the bottom of that hole on both sides like that look from the edge of that bore there or the edge of that cut out there and then there's also two holes in the center them two holes are drilled to a depth to meet up with this hole which is the exhaust port so when the actual valve chest is on you've got your valves a shuttle valve and a what's the other one called uh, just a minute pilot valve you've got a shuttle valve and a pilot valve that go over them three holes and that gives you gives you your timing for your steam to go through to your cylinder and then to exhaust back out so this is the inlet on the valve chest and this is the exhaust on the uh, steam cylinder body and the timing of them valves will give you your corresponding events when the steam is going in each side 
Um, I think that's it really. I think that's a, a, a brief explanation of everything that happens. Oh, just one other thing. Where these uh, grooves are at the edge of the bore on both sides they're to let the steam into each side of the cylinder when it's done its valve timing event and then the covers, when you put your covers on I made these covers earlier on in a one of previous parts they've also got a corresponding slot in that match up with that slot look and that's what lets the steam into the actual cylinder same on the other side Uh, that's got a, a slot cut in to match up with the slot on that one and then in one of my previous uh, previous videos I mentioned that this one here look had an offset scallop took out the flange I didn't know what that, that were for at the very first first off when I started this so I left it marked it till I got to the point where I found out what, what it was doing and what it's doing is it's missing this 5BA screw that's only, f that's only done on one side of the cylinder it's to miss that 5BA stay that comes out there and it's offset from the centre so I've got to cut that out yet and that's this on the drawing it's the stay that comes down from the cylinder just to hold all the mechanism together. I want to copy everything that I've done on there onto the cylinder. First of all I'm going to bore it out then I'm going to fasten the valve chest to it get all these holes marked out and drilled and then once all that's done I can move on to the actual uh, steam passageways in the ends. So I'll see you over at Myford then probably. And then we'll reconvene once I've got to the next stage. A blank for the for the hole in the casting. Put a centre in it. Um, because the centre line of that has got to be three quarter of an inch from this face. Uh, if you can always adjust that by remachining this face if you wanted, the bottom face if it's you know a few thou out. But I've got this now roughly well within a thou from the centre of the bore uh, to this face, so. I've got it running. I've got the bore centre running true. So also, you've got to make sure that you've got the um, body parallel to the lathe axis. So I'm already for machining that now. I'm going to do the bore, and then we can move on to doing the uh, steam holes in the face and the ends. Just off camera then, 
now I've got that bore finished I've got my plug gauge fitting perfectly um, and then I've just added to the milling machine to drill these steam um, slots with a with a piston comes up to the bottom of the bore on both sides it's a 532nd slot the width and I've worked it out that it from touching on the bore up to the radius of the cutter it's 764 the depth and that's where the the hole will be at the very corner in the very corner of that slot that's where the 16th hole is going to be uh, when I drill it oh, and I've also put this um, four, 5BA by 532 deep thread in it's 9 sixteenths in that way 3.30 seconds in from this face and if you remember on one of my earlier episodes I said there's got to be a cut out put in one of these covers this one here and I wasn't sure then what it was for but I found out now it's obviously it's for that stood to fit in that comes down to hold the um, it's for the uh, stay that holds the mechanism together so I've just got to cut where I've marked a slot in that flange and it's just slightly offset this one, it, when it's assembled together, look, this is the cover, that's the slot in, and it corresponds with the slot in the bottom of the bore here on both sides, look, and that's where the steam is going to come in behind the piston for its forward stroke or reverse stroke, and then when it gets to the other end, the other cover has got the same slotting look matches up with that slot for the steam to come through once I get my portholes drilled in and before I do the uh, steam passageways I'm going to fasten this valve chest on and get these um, holes put in the face and I've also got this hole here the um, exhaust port in the side. I think I'll continue with this in the next part then so uh, if you found that useful, interesting etc etc give me a thumbs up and a subscribe I'd appreciate that and I'll catch you next time then. Thanks for watching, bye for now.